probably always got to listen to this shit for anyway. Because I'm in charge, that's why. Oh, it don't seem like no good kind of reason to me. Also, hey, what's that? Hold on a minute, a second. You mash some poor feather's dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. But he can be out this far unless... Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge. Mm. That was kind of bad. Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Retro Gaming with Warp Jester. That's me. So we're gonna dive into another episode of uh, StarCraft here. We're gonna be doing uh, oh, this is episode four now of this. Uh, so the objective is to survive for thirty minutes. This is one of my favorite kind of objectives because it's a build up your masses, stand pack, create good defenses, which is my my shtick. So I appreciate that. So. Yep. Yeah, go on there. So we're gonna get these guys already running. And my first, first thing I always blow money on. <sighs> first thing I always try to do is get uh, people up and out and kind of patrolling perimeter. Yeah, patrolling perimeter. Good lord. And getting uh, get people fortified, so to speak. So as I just showed here, the SCVs for the Terrans can repair buildings. That's another. Really nice perk about uh, uh, the Terrans is they can fix their crap, so that's always a good deal. Now, I've learned from the past, I'm going to do this a little early now, but get it over here. Do do. We got this here, and I want you to actually hold the position. Hold position. A hold position is a good thing because with hold position, you actually get them to stay where they're going to stay. They're not going to run off ahead and get themselves into trouble or have all kinds of issues, which is always a good thing. Uh, put a couple guys in here. I want to max out these bunkers. Now, the real kicker here, what you want to do is you want to get these guys um, mined as quick as you can. And you want to get uh, as much fortification here as you possibly can. Because they will start pouring through here. And it gets ugly real quick. Now, I said before, um, I have a bad habit of not utilizing these uh, secondary buildings here for uh, upgrades. You can see right here, this is a weapons upgrade to make them shoot better, and then armor upgrade to make them defend better. So we'll get that into what's in there here. I'm going to try to get these guys built up as quick as I can. And as soon as these guys pop out, I'll go ahead and get the Vespian gas running. It's probably be really helpful as well. Best be that's gonna be a big help for us. Oh shit! Land, land, just yeah, you fool thing, you fool building. Yeah, so the Terrans, the Terrans have a, a beautiful perk about them, with the aspect that uh, they can uh, repair their own stuff, and that comes real handy because with them being able to repair stuff, and it's partially damaged, you can just pull right back, which is. Always a big help. Okay, can I squeeze you in here? Yeah, kind of, sort of. There we go. I'm just push up here a little bit. And again, I want you to hold. I want you to hold. There we go. Let's get these little turkeys all pumped up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just kind of scoot right up here to the edge. And you gotta be careful when you click on this map. If you get too close to the edge, you see they're gonna walk right out, right off the edge there. And that's a no bueno. I'm gonna put you guys right down here. Perfect. Well done. I actually want you to tuck up next to the bunker a little more. I try to keep things as tight as possible just because it tends to keep uh, from having too many issues. Now, 
I'm always on a fence about fire bats because um, when it comes to the fire bats, they, they're short range, but they do a good bit of damage, which is always a good thing. Oh, for the love of God, guys, you want to stand there? Do something. Ah! One of the things I always hate about that is you tell them to go up here and then you just go up there and stand there. It's like, yeah, that's not so much with the helpful guys. I am going to go ahead and tilt one of these guys away. I wish I could come up here uh, and have you build this another bunker or another um, supply depot. And see, we're by a limit here for the number of people we can have. So we'll get that out of the way. Five minutes down already. Doing great, doing great. If I remember right, though, they do tend to kind of get themselves pretty well hosed pretty quickly. In the later part of this, all of a sudden, next thing you know, you've got just all kinds of serves out the years, and I don't do no, don't do no one no good. Now this right here, uh, you can build uh, a second building hooks onto it, and they have different types for different purposes to give you different functions. Um, so there's a oh, for love of Pete, thank you. Um, there's a building that lets you uh, basically radar different areas, so you can actually kind of explore out here by uh, uh, just blipping and you can see what's out there, so that's kind of handy. Dandy. Alright, so we got a good, good number of these guys around rolling around. I think we can add about one more to this, maybe. Let's find out. Yeah, it works perfectly. And they'll kind of self balance themselves, give themselves kind of spaced out just right. So we got the SFUs going. Definitely going to want to have. Uh, yeah, this is for all the spitters. Spitters end up just kind of screwing everybody up. So, as much as I appreciate having them up there, the end result is, as you see, it tends to make these guys hang back and then he ends up getting offed. <laughs> So now you're kind of useless and broken. I'll have you stick back here. You can provide additional cover. So I'll put those guys back. So I'll leave them there for the moment. I, just, I always worry about that aspect of it. Okay, guys, seriously. Work. You lazy bums! Must be American. Oh, I can say that because I am American. Let's go ahead and up these guys right now, get that out of the way, and up their uh, range as well. If they can shoot first, they're going to last a little bit longer, and that's always a good deal. So, the mechanics of Minecraft are kind of neat, because you have these different uh, tiers. There's, I think there are three different tiers uh, for certain types of things, like this futuristic arm, or futuristic plating kind of thing. Um, but if you're up top like this, you will get first shot, because the people on the ground won't see you at first. As soon as you fire, however, they will be able to see you. So anything that can fire range, like the spitters, for example, they will then be able to fire up onto you. But yeah, if you have a good mass of guys up here, they can get a lot of good shots in well before there's an issue. Now the other thing you see kind of swirling around here, these are the missile towers. The missile towers are just that, the missile towers. Um, but their, their primary focus and purpose is anti-air. Matter of fact, this is the only focus purpose is anti-air. Um, so they uh, they basically no 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 see that's exactly what I'm talking about. This is what I get them to hold. Come on down here, dun dun, and then hold. Um, so yeah, their, their, their primary their primary function is to um, do anti-air. They have. Uh, I think they have a detection ability. So anything that's cloaked, they'll be able to see, so you can't sneak anybody by who's cloaked. So that's always a good deal. Now we are losing some peeps here, so I'm going to go ahead and bust out around. Now we do have a lot more buildings available to us from the SCV, so I'm going to check that out real quick. So we have not only our primary buildings here, so we know about the refinery, all this stuff here. We're started playing with the engineering bay and uh, so on. But then we also have the advanced buildings. The advanced buildings here, here is the uh, build factory. Now this is going to be your your tech. And your tech uh, is going to be a couple of different things. Now start off with for the uh, the campaign here, they're only going to let us build the uh, 
Uh, these guys right here, they're called the Vul Valkyries or Volker Vultures. That's right, little vultures. Um, but later you'll be able to do siege tanks. The siege tanks are the the creme de la creme of the um, Terran world because siege tanks, when they go into secondary, well, first of all, primary mode, they're a good solid tank. But in secondary mode, they have one of the longest ranges of any uh, uh, any character. So you'll actually be able to um, basically hit things a good ways off. But of course, the downside is uh, in order to be in siege mode, you will uh, have to stay still, basically. But that's definitely worth having, though. And the other thing that's nice about these uh, vultures here is because they are tech, you actually are going to be able to repair them. So that's another perk about them. So if I send this guy over here, I'm going to say, repair him, please. So if you, put your, if you put your vultures out, it's a little ahead of your marines. The vultures will take the brunt of the force. And then you have the uh, um, SCV here repairing them, which is a good deal. Awesome possum. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, they said this was depleted already. Now, these guys, if they keep pulling from here, we still will get a little bit of Vespian gas, I believe. Watch the numbers, see if anything else comes out of it. Yeah, so it, it still will trickle in, but it is going to be a little bit neutered. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and build this machine shop here. This one we talked about before is, um... Oh, oops. Uh oh There we go, some flyers came in. Um, oh, man, I didn't even build some more marines up up there. Cover that here. Um, basically, when it comes to the aspects of um, these little outbuildings, these outbuildings have different purposes, different things. There's specialized outbuildings that connect to the machine shop, that connect to the uh, command center, and so on. Um, they have their specific functions. Um, I'm going to have to come up here with you, buddy. Come, come up. Come up here. Actually, no, I can't build up there. Can we build missiles yet? No. Yes. Good. So we're going to go ahead and build uh, a mass right here in the middle to try to catch the uh, flyers. Now, when you're playing AI, it is definitely a very different game. You are going to do this for me. Spider mines. I'll tell you about those in a minute. Um, but if you build uh, uh, missile turrets in clusters, as long as the the two space apart, you know, what I'm building now and the one over here, uh, as long as they're space apart just close enough that they'll catch anything trying to fly between, it'll draw the AI over to them. So you put a mass together, it'll just draw the AI in, and then they'll just totally get hosered. Um, so that's kind of what I play against AI. When you play against uh, uh, people, it's a whole whole different uh, ball of wax because at that point you are dealing with uh, um, people who know how to get around things. They'll look for your weak points in your armor so you have to kind of be even spread with them and people can find a way to break in. Well, you know, you're hosed either way. <laughs> so you gotta keep that in mind. Alright, so how are you doing here? Yeah. How's this doing? Okay. And the other thing that's about this is if uh, you hear any kind of action like job finished, you can just uh, click on um, you can click on the space bar and that will take you straight to the last thing that was said. I don't know if there's a faster vulture movement. Don't care. Now these guys now have spider mines and spider mines are handy because they are uh, basically mines that can be put into the ground they can hide, if you will. Oops. Oh, he is short-lived. Oh, that was not good. Why you not pair him? You silly Billy. Gotta put that there. Um, lock my train of thought here. The, uh, Vulture Billy, uh, oh yes, the mines. Let's go ahead and run you out here. Now he's got to get a few mines each, I think three. And these things are handy to spread out, because what they'll do is they'll take out the brunt of um, mobs that are coming in. So once you've placed all three, they sit down ground. Now you, as you know, primary player, put them down there, you will be able to see them. But other players or AI doesn't see them unless they have the ability to see cloak. So that's a critical thing. 
let's go ahead and have you build a couple of these guys. Yeah, I'll get at least one more down here, so I'll catch the flyers coming in. And I think if you have an SCV following for repair, I think it actually keeps repairing the item. Let's go ahead and pull out a couple of these guys here. So we've got him out there. We'll have this guy head on out and mace the place. And again, this is only going to work for ground crews, of course. But it will help uh, cut down those numbers. The, the spider mines do a good job of taking out a good chunk of uh, mobs. And I tend to kind of do this, you know, first line, second line. Because oftentimes what you have happen is you'll have the smaller, faster... Smaller, faster, better type um, uh, units that will sit there and um, uh, run in first. And they, they end up becoming fodder, which is not always the best thing because then they take up all the mines and then the heavies come in and, you know, not so much of the fun. The other thing about these is I always like to try to get uh, the Folgers out and get these lines landmines drop as soon as I can, because that way if they do end up getting toasted later, they've already deposited uh, their load, if you will. Uh, so you just got to space them out here. Good deal. I'll pull him back. And again, I'll have him come back here and then hold position. Have you hold position? Now, I want to upgrade armor as well. How was this guy here? Yes. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Normally, you know, mine's late game is better, but, yeah, whatever. Alright, buddy. I need you back here. Do a little bit of repair, repair. I think I can. There we go. I can have him repair multiple things. You can actually light multiple targets. And they will uh, take care of it. Oh, that's bad news. Okay, so the flyers, the flyers, not so much with the happy. Um, the uh, flyers for Zerg have the perk that when they shoot things, uh, they actually shoot uh, they, their shots ricochet, if you will. I guess would be the best way to describe it. Um, but they basically what they do is they will. Um, uh, hit the first target at whatever the full damage is, and then you'll hit two additional targets with a decreasing damage each. Really, really nice if you get pack those together, because then you can just say, hey, I want to um, you hit a pack of marines, and it just devastates them. Something fierce. That was not the smartest thing in the world, but okay. I can put you there. There, and we'll go ahead and put one over here just to cover bases. Yeah, at least for the anti ground forces, it's about the best I can do in that sense. Alright, you, sir, need to repair this. You're done? Good. Alright, so let's have you kind of pull back. We'll actually tuck you back right here. Let's get you back out of here. Position, please. And hold position, please. Uh, we're gonna need to get ourselves a little more anti-air armament this way. Always worry about putting stuff here because I'm afraid it's gonna end up uh, blocking the road. I believe if I tuck them all up along here. They'll hit all the air stuff, and the ground stuff will get hit by these guys. So we'll see how that does. Woohoo! Third of the way there. Oh, whatever that was, it's done already. <laughs> Another thing beautiful about those landmines is they uh, they do a really good job about uh, killing off things before you can even see them. Uh, you got some mines, right? Yeah, do me a favor. Can you fix that for me? Uh, yeah, you guys got uh, some landmines left? No, okay. I, I, well, I'd feel a lot better if you had a couple more of these things off here. Additional 
Right, let's go. Let's go build up here. I'm also gonna have you build some too. Do a little double duty. That's what I always do too. I leave my damn vultures out and forget about them. And it's like, oh, whoops, yeah, I supposed to bring him back in. Oops. Come and drop one more down there. Yes, yes, I know. Let's have some fun. Actually, you know what? Come over here. No idea how much or where these guys come from. It's been so long since I've played. When in doubt, loose <laughs> lace everything. Just cover bases. There we go. All right, we can come back here now. Yeah, and I bet you anything, she probably has some more. And build a couple of that, everything's. When you get down to that last little minute marker, oh baby, do you ever? Oh. It's horrible. It, you get so bombarded with just everything. Uh, cancel. I need more of these. And you, I need you building more of these. We get some more Marines packed up in here. I guess he's a little damaged. I had a guy up here. Let's pull him back. Oh, there he is. Hey, favor. Top him off real quick. Sir. Oh, surly they are. It's great. So I got all these marines standing out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take over here. Build another bunker for them so they're a little more protected. Position. We did what near where? Oh, you got some spider mines. Oh god. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he got him. Enough. Not quick enough. Yeah, I'm going. I dig. Probably these waves. Sometimes I'll do those little puny waves and then uh no problem. I'll take out all these things and next thing you know, you're getting hammered. Whoop, oh, just like that. Yeah, like that. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Doesn't always work out. Oh, no problem. oh we got an overlord. No Alright, so tuck you back yeah, over here again. And then you hold position. Alright, uh, do me a favor, my friend. Five minutes until drop Give me some bunker love. Uh, let's just keep even up those missiles. Actually, it's some more over this side. And who else we got standing around being a lump? Something on your mind? You apparently. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I'm going. I'll read you, sir. Your forces are under yeah. attack. Oh, is that it? Job finished. We'll take out that guy if I had any anti air than the ones that are stationary. But dude, go up this way. It's not that hard. Go this way. Come over here. You can do it. Up oh, through here. What? Ah! Seriously? Alright, fine. Play around derping with this dude forever, and then I'm gonna lose my chance to get beefed up. Wait, who was had the mind? Somebody ever had mind with that. Text up over here. Something on your mind. 
Over here. Build me a bunker. Actually, no. Oh, well. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it worked. Don't. Don't. Da, da, da. Stuff you guys in there. You should be up here. Alright, so we got a good bunch of vultures there. Is there anything else we can upgrade? Yeah, I never use those stim bags. Nah, they're all staging. That's hardly an attack. Repair him, please. Reporting for duty. Something on your mind? Can I read you? Top him off. Your forces are under attack. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Give me something to shoot. Go, go, go. The other thing, the little tactic you can do is you can actually uh, toss Marines in the corners of these bunkers like this. And you can kind of just basically have them kind of hide out. Yeah, I'm going. Your forces are under attack. Yep, that was bad news. That's the problem with mines, is mines are indiscriminate when it comes to uh, um, what they will. Uh... Oh, crap, monkeys! I just got hosered. As soon as I pull these guys away to take care of this issue. We're gonna get all kinds of fuckers. Nope. Nope. It's off. Run, little Marines! I want you to kill, not run off and get killed. Jesus. Well, that was a right load of garbage. <laughs> ah, this is not going well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, we survived it, but that wasn't the most ideal way to survive. Uh, like I said, I didn't play this in a while, so I kind of forgot how they kind of flooded in like that. I know there's a later one, too. We have to do another survival, and they've got just, oh, my God, hordes of flying and everything. And just there's no way you can survive it without being really, really on top of it. And I was not, you see my, the amount of crystal I had and uh, Vespian gas. I was not playing this to the fullest. I should have had a lot more armament out there. If I had a good block of vultures out there, they could pretty much one-shot anything coming down. So, not the best game for me, but, uh, hey, a win's a win. I'll take it. <laughs> so, that's it for now. Again, as always, thank you so very much for uh, joining me on this. I'm really enjoying playing this good little bit game again. Uh, I will be uh, pulling up some more uh, Diablo 2 as well and get a chance to hunt and peck and chatter a bit while we do stuff there. Um, uh... I don't know when it's going to go up necessarily, so, yeah, whenever they get there. <laughs> um, I'm also going to be trying to play some uh, World of Tanks and World of Warships. If you haven't played World of Warships, uh, or World of Tanks for that matter, definitely try it out. It's a free-to-play game. It's a really fun game. A lot of depth and detail to it. Beautiful graphics. Great gameplay. So I'll be uh, probably picking that up uh, in a little bit, too. Uh, but for now... Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like down below. And of course, if you like watching this kind of stuff and want to be notified when I put this crap out, uh, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, we'll hopefully get a chance to talk later. Anyways, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.